Hey guys, welcome to the David Alaba FIFA 21 player review. So since it's my first FIFA 21 center back review, things are going to be done a little differently in this commentary. I'm going to be commentating over clips sometimes and then resume into a general commentary. I switched Alaba to left center back, stay back while attacking, the only instructions, let's get into the review. So in this first clip, I want you to pay attention to how the AI of Alaba tracks the runner into the box. The second clip, I want you to see how good jockeying is with Alaba and how quick he is to press while jockeying. Okay, in this clip, I actually lose the man initially, but then look at the recovery from Alaba and the block shot after that. So the way I play ultimate team defensively is that I prefer to have a really high line because I like manual pressing a lot with defenders. And in that aspect, Alba is actually the perfect defender for me because he's very smooth on the ball and he's great to manual press with. So overall, his AI positioning for me was absolutely superb. Uh, the only thing that irked me about Alaba a bit was his lack of strength when he came up against tougher strikers. Like for example, Raul Jimenez actually bullied Alaba a couple of times when I played him. Another minor con I actually noticed with Alaba is that a couple of times occasionally, uh, an opponent would slide a through ball that was relatively close to Alaba and he would just let that go through without trying to make an interception for it. And each time that that happened, it ended up with me conceding a goal. So let's move on to Alaba's passing. Uh, honestly, I had no complaints at all. It was pretty, pretty good for a centre-back. And he had no problem in switching the play and releasing wingers on either sides of the pitch. And he used to do it pretty effortlessly. Well, now it's time to give some of you sweat lords the key piece of information that you wanted from this review about how fast is Alaba. So to answer that question, I'm going to say that Alaba with an anchor chem style or a shadow chem style is a very quick centre-back. There are a couple of clips in this review where Alaba is running parallelly with the striker on a straight line and the striker is the lead, but Alaba manages to catch up and make a great tackle in the box. Presenting to you the most useless free kick in the world, I hope you enjoyed that. So this is a disclaimer for this video, the games I was playing in this to review Alaba were all against Division 2 players, so I believe I have faced the most sweatiest and dirty opponents in this game and Alaba did surprisingly well against them. So here's my overall rating for Alaba. Alaba is a solid but fun defender. So if you want to have some fun in defense, get Alaba. But if you want purely a centre-back and no fun, get Lucas Hernandez. He's half the price. That's why I've given Alaba a value for coins of 7.5. Just get Alaba, he's more fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I had a great time bringing this review to y'all because I had to face the sweaty D2 opponents. So hit the subscribe button, it'd mean the world to me and have a great day guys.